How to place stops, the risk per trade method. Stop loss is a vital risk management tool that puts a cap on potential losses. It closes a position when the asset reaches a specified price. But how can a trader determine the price level needed? Well, here's one of the approaches. The risk per trade method implies that you should risk no more than 2% of your trading capital on a single trade. Remember that it's better to determine the stop loss level before entering a trade. However, it can be added during the entire lifetime of a position. The 2% of capital is referred to as capital at risk. To determine the stop loss amount, the capital at risk amount should be divided by the position size. Let's say you have £20,000 in your account. With such trading capital, you decide not to risk more than £400 in one trade. 20,000 times 0 0.02. Suppose you want to buy 50 shares of company CPL. Such a trade requires a stop loss at £8. £400 divided by 50. However, the risk per trade amount is not enough to place a stop loss. The volatility of an instrument matters as well, as sharp fluctuations can trigger your stop loss earlier than needed. Remember that placing a stop loss order doesn't guarantee execution at a specified price. In some cases, prices can move suddenly, making it impossible to execute at a specified price, so the order is executed at the next best price available. This is called slippage. Invest mindfully, risks are involved.